Good morning, early on friends. Welcome to Rhymers Will Be Readers. Today is Tuesday, November the 30th. I'm so glad you could join me this morning. Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? How are you today? How is everybody? Good. Come everybody and clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Come on everybody and clap your hands. Clap your hands today. Come on everybody and stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. Come on everybody and stomp your feet. Stomp your feet today. I can't reach my hands up today because I'm in a little bit of a, a small space. So how about we blow a kiss? Come on everybody and blow a kiss. Mwah! Blow a kiss. Mwah! Blow a kiss. Come on everybody and blow a kiss. Mwah! Blow a kiss today. You're probably wondering, Monica, where are you? And I'm in my house, in my living room, but I made a fort today and I've invited some of my friends to join me. I thought it's a little bit chilly outside and I just wanted a comfy, cozy place to snuggle in. Some of my friends here today are animals who hibernate, like a bear, frog or a bumblebee and some are just some friends that I invited. Do you know what hibernate means or what hibernation is? It's when animals go to a deep deep sleep in the winter months and they do that to protect themselves from the really cold temperatures or those snowy days and then they come out in the spring when the sun is shining and the ground warms up. So I have some songs about hibernation and some animals that hibernate. If you have a teddy bear close by, you might want to grab a hold of one, give it a little snuggle because there's some songs about bears. Do you know who hibernates, who hibernates, who hibernates? Do you know who hibernates? It's great big bears. Bears hibernate in dens or caves, kind of like the fort that I made today. Do you know who hibernates, who hibernates, who hibernates? Do you know who hibernates? It's slithering snakes. And slithering snakes, they hibernate in caves or they build their dens underground. Do you know who hibernates, who hibernates, who hibernates? Do you know who hibernates? It's little groundhogs oh, and groundhogs they burrow a, a den underground as well that's where they stay toasty warm and have their long winter nap do you know who hibernates who hibernates who hibernates do you know who hibernates it's little green frogs do you know where frogs hibernate some of you might say in the water down low, but they make a burrow on land, or sometimes they find a nice, cozy, warm home in a pile of leaves or a compact, compost heap, sorry, in our yards. Do you know who hibernates, who hibernates, who hibernates? Do you know who hibernates? It's small bat, black bats bats hibernate in caves and crevices and rocks somewhere they can can have a long sleep okay get your teddy bear ready grizzly bears are big and brown big and brown big and brown grizzly bears are big and brown and live in the woods they might have big paws maybe some big teeth big eyes maybe a big wet nose polar bears are soft and white Soft and white, soft and white. Polar bears are soft and white and live where it is cold. So they're built a little bit differently. They have warm fur and maybe an extra layer of fat underneath to keep them warm in the really cold temperatures. 
Next bear is the teddy bear. Teddy bears are just my size, just my size, just my size. Teddy bears are just my size to cuddle with at night. Let's sing that teddy bear verse again. Teddy bears are just my size, just my size, just my size. Teddy bears are just my size to cuddle with at night. Good job. Okay, I want you to think. If you could hibernate, what would you want with you before you had your long sleep? Today I thought I have my friends with me. I have a blanket. I have a sweater in case I get extra chilly. I have this. Do you know what this is? It's my lantern because it might get really dark in my, my den when I'm having my long winter sleep. And I might like a little bit of light. <laughs> Grr, grr, went the big brown bear one day. Grr, grr, went the big brown bear. Grr, grr, went the big brown bear one day. So they all went grr, grr, grr. Can you make a big loud grr for me? Grr. But we know bears go huggy, huggy, hug, huggy, huggy, hug, huggy, huggy, hug. We know bears go. Huggy, huggy, hug. They don't go grr, grr, grr. Oh, now we're going to move really slow like a turtle. Slow, slow went the little green turtle one day. So slow went the little green turtle. Slow, slow went the little green turtle one day. So they all went slow, slow, slow. But... We know turtles go cowabunga dude, cowabunga dude, cowabunga dude. We know turtles go cowabunga dude. They don't go slow, slow, slow. Good job. We're going to sing that one again because it's one of my favorites and you can sing along with it at home. You can do the actions. Grr, grr, went the big brown bear one day. Grr, grr, went the big brown bear. Grr, grr, went the big, big brown bear one day. So they all went grr, grr, grr. But we know bears go huggy, huggy, hug. Huggy, huggy, hug. Huggy, huggy, hug. We know bears go huggy, huggy, hug. They don't go grr, grr, grr. Slow, slow went the little green turtle one day. Slow, slow went the little green turtle. Slow, slow went the little green turtle one day. And they all went slow, slow, slow. But we know turtles go cowabunga dude, cowabunga dude, cowabunga dude. We know turtles go Cowabunga, dude, they don't go slow, slow, slow. Good job. Good job. I had a couple more hibernation songs today, but I just thought of something. I have another song I'm going to sing, but it's not about someone who hibernates in the winter. It's definitely someone we see in the winter. And on days like today when their snow is falling and it's collecting in the ground, it's the perfect day to make these. Can you think of what I'm thinking of? A snowman, you're right. Makes me think of snowmen. So even though I'm comfy in my fort, I'm kind of looking forward to bundling up and getting outside and playing in the snow today. Okay. I had a little snowman who had a carrot nose. Along came a bunny. And what do you suppose? Oh, that hungry little bunny was looking for his lunch. He ate that snowman's carrot nose. Nibble, nibble, crunch. Maybe today you'll get outside and make a snowman. We'll sing that one again. I had a little snowman. He had a carrot nose. Along came a bunny. And what do you suppose? That hungry little bunny was looking for his lunch. He 
ate that snowman's carrot nose. Nibble, nibble, crunch. <laughs> okay, so my challenge for you today is not to make a fort for yourself. I want you to find a stuffy at home. Maybe it's a teddy bear or another animal that hibernates. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just one of your favorites. And I want you to make a den or a little fort for your friend. Maybe you'll use a, a box, a shoe box or a big box. Maybe mom or dad has a laundry basket you can use. But I want you to think, what do you need for your den for your animal? Do they need a light? Do they need warm clothes to keep them warm this winter? Maybe a blanket? Maybe something to eat? Just thinking, I think I need some, some water in my, in my den. I get very thirsty this winter. So that's what my challenge is for you. And I would love if you snapped a picture of it and you could send it to us um, on our Facebook page, in a message, or in an email. I'd love to see what dens you create, what comfy places you have for your little friends. Okay, it's not time to sing our goodbye song. Enjoy my fort and then get outside and play in the snow. Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye today. Merrily we roll along, roll along, roll along. Merrily we roll along, but now it's time to say so long. Have a great snowy day and keep an eye out on our Facebook page and our website and our calendar coming out soon for the month of December. Bye-bye, everybody.